What's up, YouTube? This is your man, Big People Tax 100. I have a great video for you guys tonight. Now, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but it's cool because I got you faded tonight. In this short video, I'll be showing you guys how you can speed up OST in Yosemite. <laughs> yes, I am making a video for OST in Yosemite because I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this video. So now that you have upgraded to the new OS, and it's probably working fine and you love it, which is good, I'm glad you do. I'm gonna show you guys how you can speed it up a notch to just get that extra kick. So, I have actually six tips for you today. I want you to follow through as I go through this video. Just follow along and trust me, you'll see a big difference when we're done. Now, with that being said, for the first tip I have, I want you guys to disable the eye candy. Yes, the eye candy, the transparency, with the windows and effects. If you don't know what I mean, I'm gonna show you here. In order to do so, I just want you to head up to your Apple menu, like so. Once you're there, go to where it says System Preferences. Now, once you hit your System Preferences, if you just slightly look over to the lower right-hand corner, you'll see Accessibility. Click on the little logo here, and I want you to just come over you should be on desktop. So if you're on Zoom or anything, just click on your desktop and you'll see right here where it says, reduce transparency. So once you click, you'll see that the transparency in the top menu bar has changed from light to dark, light to dark like so. So just click that option like so and close it out. You're done with that. That was the first step. Pretty easy, right? Cool. Now let's go on to the second tip. Now for this second tip I have for you, this is gonna disable the unnecessary widgets and extensions and notifications in your notification center. Now, if there's a lot of you females and guys out there like myself that don't really too much care for all that other crap that Apple has installed on our Macs, you can just disable it. Let me show you how to do that. If you don't know how, once again, we're gonna to head to our Apple menu again in the left-hand corner of the menu bar choose system preferences like so. This time we're not gonna go to accessibility. This time we're gonna go to extensions right here. That's gonna be the third little bar here, extensions. Once you're there, I want you to just come over to where it says today. So you should have all actions, share menu, and today. Click that option. Now you should have this window open right here. You may have social, world clock, calculated calendar, weather, stocks, reminders, or whichever ones you have checked. Whichever ones you need that mostly suits you for your day-to-day -day things or whatever it is you like doing in your week, just click the options. Now, in my case, I just have social, calendar, weather, and reminders. I don't need stocks. So I'm not into stocks and all that stuff. So calculator, I use my phone for that. World clock, I don't really need it. I use my phone for that as well. So if you may just care about your social and let's just say your calendar, because you may use your phone for your weather and you may use your iPhone for your reminders or your iPad, you can just, you know, unselect those, but you catch my drill. So that is the second thing I wanted you guys to do. Once you're done, you can just close that out. We're going to move on to number three. Now with number three, I want y'all to clear off, well, shall I say, clear the cluttered desktop. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there, you know, maybe looking right now like, wow, Big B, you have some stuff on your desktop. Yes, I do. And it is there for a reason. I've left that stuff on my desktop because I can't count how many pages I've seen on YouTube with people with cluttered desktops. In some cases, I don't even know how people, you know, navigate through all those different folders and pictures and images and videos and songs just to find one file. In my case, I like to organize everything inside my finder because that's what finder is for, to organize your folders and whatever it is that you may want to have on your desktop. So now I'm going to just trash all of this stuff like so because I don't need it. Once again, keep a cluttered free desktop that will speed up your Mac. That's it for number three. Very simple, very easy. I like to keep things easy, simple, and neat. So 
So I'm going to go to number four. With number four, I want you all to change the minimize window effect to the scale. Let me show you what I mean. here. Once again, we're going to go back to that Apple menu because I just love that Apple menu. It's just so sexy. We're just going to go back to it. Look at it. It's just so sexy just sitting there waiting for you to click it. We're going to open up system preferences again. Now, we have already done accessibility. We went to extensions and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Now, for this one, we're going to go to dock. Yes, we're going to go to dock because we're going to change the effect, the scale effect, when we minimize those windows. If you don't know what I mean, I'm going to show you here. If we should just change the scale effect and minimize that, you'll see how it shoots down with the box form when it just like sucks it on in. That's the scale effect. We're going to change that like so. You can also change your magnification size and everything. You can play with that. You can uncheck it. You can change the size. I like to keep mine like right there in the middle. So we're going to just, just we're going to keep the dock like that. Now we're going to just close that out. Now what number are we on? Yes, number five for number five. We're going to check out the activity monitor for, you know, um, crazy items that may be jumping around inside the activity monitor in the background that we don't know about. Because from time to time, when we're using Safari or iTunes or something like that, we may have it running in the background and it may be, you know, sucking up a lot of CPU. So let's just open up activity monitor to see what's going on. So there's a couple of ways you can actually do this. But in this case, I'm going to just use my spotlight here and just go to my activity monitor like so and once we pop up activity monitor we're just going to click like so open it up now once we're inside the activity monitor yours should be on memory if so just click on cpu now everything seems to be fine right now you know in some cases, you may find some items up here at the top that may be hogging up a lot of your CPU. So right now, my numbers are looking good. Everything is looking good, matter of fact, and that's because I have everything closed out. But let's just say if yours was jumping around, and I mean, you had Safari and iTunes and maybe Photoshop, and I mean, it was like at like mm, 237 or higher. You can actually just, you know, click it, and you can just quit the process. Or you can just do a right click on the application itself and quit the application. That will then drop your CPU usage so that you can continue to do whatever it is you was doing in your other application so that your Mac will be a lot faster. So that basically you can focus on what you're doing at that point in time. So if I was editing photos and I was listening to music at the same time while I'm editing and I just wanted to focus on my editing and I noticed my Mac was going slow. I would just quit my music and maybe play my music off of my headphones from my iPad or my iPhone or something like that or whatever phone you may have, Galaxy Note, whatever it is. Stop the process for your music for the time being while you're editing so that you can have more speed. I don't know what type of RAM you have in your system, so if you don't have that much RAM, that's one thing you can do to just speed up your Mac. So we're going to close that down because we're done with number five. Now that we are pretty much on the last one here. This is just gonna speed up that new finder window that you guys have because you all have upgraded to OS 10 Yosemite. So we're gonna speed that up. How we're gonna speed it up? I'm gonna show you. First off, you wanna make sure you're on your desktop. You wanna just close out your activity monitor and you wanna make sure that you're on your desktop. Now come up to where it says Finder. Click on Preferences, like so. Once you have chosen Preferences, like so, I want you guys to just come down to where it says New Finder Window Shows. Well, I'm sorry, New Finder Window Show. Yours may be on, I don't know, Macintosh HD or something else. Choose Desktop. Now that you have done that, you can also show these items on your desktop if you want. I don't because I don't need to because I just use my finder to see what devices I have connected to my Mac. 
such as external disc or hard disc or anything like that. And uh, pretty much everything else you can leave as is or you can change the spring loaded folders and windows delay. I have mine on medium but you can change it to short or long. If you have it on long that's better. If you have it on short that means it's going to spring right open really quick. So I tend to keep mine on medium. And those are the six things that you all can do to speed up your Mac. After you have done all of those things I just showed you, I want you to just come up to your Apple logo here. And I want you to just log out and restart your Mac. Once you restart your Mac, you should notice a huge difference within the things that you like to do on your Mac as far as dealing with speed because at the end of the day that's what it's all about it's about speed 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 this is your man big b production 100 please rate comment and subscribe for this video if you like it please give me a thumbs up i really appreciate it and i will be having more videos coming your way soon i'll let you